In this video, we talk about Docker, a very popular containerization tool. We are going to learn what is Docker and how to use Docker to containerize your application, along with some interesting new features that will let you create your Docker file easily, help you secure your Docker images and a lot more. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's start. Remember, learning Docker in 2024 is very, very important and absolutely necessary to master other popular tools like Kubernetes, Helm, Istio. And that is why Docker has officially sponsored this video to introduce new features to all of you. Let's begin with understanding what is Docker. According to the definition, Docker is a containerization tool that lets you run your application in isolated environments called containers. And what are containers? Containers are packages that include your application code, dependencies, and everything necessary to make sure your application runs properly in any environment or any operating system. Let's see an example of how to containerize a Python application using Docker. All right, so I have a very simple Python application here which shows the message, hello world, let's learn Docker. And this application is created using Flask module. So Flask is a dependency here which you need to install in order to run this application. And you can simply do that by running pip install flask. Now, once you install it, you are ready to run this application. And for you to run the application, you run the command python3 app.py. Now we have our application running on port 5000. Let me show you that. So this is our application on port 5000, which shows the message, hello world, let's learn Docker. Now this application is running on the server. And for us to containerize it or run it as a Docker container, we need to follow the Docker workflow, which is to first create a Docker file, then build a Docker image, and then run this image as a Docker container. So what is a Docker file? A Docker file is a blueprint or a set of instructions on how you want your Docker container to be. So we first need a Docker file, then we run the command to build an image, and then we run the command to create a container. So let's go ahead and create a Docker file for our application here. So I'm going to build a new file. Let's name this Docker file because this is a name you want to put for your Docker files. Inside this Docker file, I will need to add all the instructions on how I want my application to be containerized. So let's do that. First thing, I'm going to use the base image. So this application is in Python. We need to use Python as a base image. You can find all the images on Docker Hub. Uh, so I'm going to use Python 3.8 as the base image. And we use from instruction to set the base image. So you can go ahead and read about it if you have the VS Code extension. So I'm using Python as the base image. Next, I'm going to set the working directory as slash app inside the container. After I set the working directory, I'm going to copy everything from my local machine inside the container. After everything is copied, we need to install all the dependencies present inside this requirement.txt. And we can do that by running the command pip install requirements.txt. So I'm going to run the command which is going to install all the dependencies because we know a Docker container includes application code as well as dependencies to make sure it is running in every operating system or any environment. Once you have the dependencies installed, we are going to expose our application on a particular port. Our application is running on port 5000, so I will expose it on the same. We expose 5000. Once you add everything, the final step is to run the application and we run the application using Python app.py. So I'm going to use the same here as well. So we have our Docker file ready. To create an image out of this docker file, we need to run the command docker build. If you are not sure about the docker commands, let me know in the comment section and I will provide you a complete docker cheat sheet that will explain all the different commands with examples. So now we have a docker file and we are going to build a docker image from this docker file. So how do you do that? We run the command docker build. If I were to name this, let's name this as python app and I'm going to say dot because my docker file is present inside this folder. So docker build hyphen t name of the image and dot. So let's press enter and Docker will start creating an image from the instructions that you have here. So you can see it's doing layer by layer because Docker creates images layer by layer. So we have four layers here and let's wait for this to complete. We will very soon have a Docker image for our application. Okay, so the image has been created. Let's confirm by running Docker images command and we should be able to see a Python app image that was created now. So we have a Python app created 11 seconds ago. Once you have the image created, you can then run this image as a container. You can also push this image on Docker Hub or ECR or any other container registry. You can also use this image to deploy your application as a container using Docker Compose, Kubernetes or any other means. For now, I'm going to simply run a Docker run command to show you that this application works. 
ये डॉक्टर रन हाइफन आई टी हाइफन पी सो आर एप्लीकेशन फाइव थाउजेंड आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू बी रनिंग ऑन फाइव थाउजेंड इन माई मशीन सो एम सेंग हाइफन पी फाइव थाउजेंड मैपिंग टू फाइव थाउजेंड एंड देन द इमेज नेम और द इमेज आई डी लेट्स यूज द इमेज नेम हेयर सेम विड कॉपी एंड फेस्ट इट हेयर वंस यू रन दिस कमांड योर एप्लीकेशन विल रन एज अ डॉक्टर कंटेनर एंड वी विल वेरी सून सी दैट सो नाउ यू कैन सी द एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग लेट्स कन्फर्म दैट बाई गोइंग टू लोकल होस्ट फाइव थाउजेंड एंड वी हैव द सेम थिंग सो नाउ आर एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग एज अ डॉकर कंटेनर यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक दैट बाई रनिंग अ कमांड डॉकर पी एस विच शोज यू ऑल द लिस्ट ऑफ कंटेनर रनिंग एट द मोमेंट एंड दिस कमांड शोज एज दैट द एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग ऑन पोर्ट फाइव थाउजेंड विच इज वॉट वी सी यर सो दिस इज हाउ यू कंटेनराइज यूर एप्लीकेशन और रन इट एज अ डॉकर कंटेनर We have understood to run an application as a container. We need to first create a Docker file. As a developer or a DevOps engineer, you need to know how to create a Docker file. But what if you don't know how to create a Docker file? No need to worry because Docker has a new feature or a new command called as Docker init, which creates Docker files, Docker compose files, and everything necessary to containerize your application. The best part is Docker init can be used with all kinds of applications, be it Java, Node.js, Python, GoLang. or any application let me show you an example all right so i have a node application here you can see the files present and this application is saying hello world message on port 3000 in my browser but you can notice there are no docker files to containerize this application so let's create it using docker init in my terminal i'm going to run the command docker init and the output says welcome to docker init cli this utility will walk you through creating the following files which include docker ignore docker file compose.yaml and readme docker.md but to do that we need to fill in some detail the first is to select the application this is node application so we are selecting node and i'll press enter now next the version is 20.11.1 so i'll press enter again package manager is npm which is automatically detected so i'm going to press enter again the command to start is npm start so enter again port is 3000 as you can see in the code so i'll type port 3000 here after i press enter you can see the files are created and we also get the command to run this application on local host 3000 see this is the compose.yaml docker file and also other files like readme docker.md so this is how you can use docker init utility to automatically create docker files and containerize your node application So this is how you can use Docker init command to automatically create all the necessary files to containerize your application and to create your Docker image. Once you have the image you can then push it on Docker Hub or any other container registry and also start deploying your applications either using Docker Compose or Kubernetes or any other way. But before you deploy your application using the Docker image you need to make sure that your Docker images are secured and free from vulnerabilities. And to check that we can use another Docker feature which is Docker Scout. Let me show you a demo. Here I have an image and we are going to run docker scout commands to check if there are any issues or not. The first command is docker scout quick view which gives you a high level overview of the issues in your images. There are also other commands that will provide you a detailed reports of all the issues, provide you with recommendations to solve these issues and lot more. Let's try running docker scout cve command which will provide you a detailed reports of all the issues you have in your docker image so you can go through these issues and try to solve it. Another command that can help you provide recommendations to solve this is the docker scout recommendation command. Once you run this it will provide you with things that you can do to troubleshoot this issues and secure your docker images. So this is docker scout command which helps you secure your docker images. Make sure to try it out. The link is in description. If you are already familiar with docker scan, consider docker scout as an upgrade that provides you with more detailed reports and goes deeper into the image contents. Similar to these Docker has more new amazing features like Docker Debug, Docker Build Cloud, Docker Compose Watch and lot more. The links and the documentation for all these features are in the description. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. Also let me know if you want a complete course on Docker and Kubernetes. I hope this video was informative. Thank you and happy dockerizing.